Developing at 430, we just learned Orlando Fire is investigating a local ice cream shop fire as arson. The flames broke out this morning and damaged Joff's drive-in on Orange Blossom Trail near Church Street. New 6's Mark Lehman tells us what he's learning. Just a little more than two weeks after this historic ice cream stand was damaged, crews were called back out here again for a fire early this morning. We got a chance to speak with the owner who tells us this is another devastating blow for his family. It's uh, pretty bad. Todd Peacock taking us inside Goff's ice cream and showing the damage left behind. Uh, the roof ceiling tiles are burnt up, obviously. Hot water heater, uh, wood doors are burnt. Peacock says his family has owned the business since the 70s, but the stand has been here since 1948. I mean, it's, it's a big landmark. Um, you know, back back in the days when segregation was a thing, we didn't believe in that. Same, you know, everybody same window, everybody same water fountain. After crews put out this morning's fire, they began the process of working to figure out how it started. Well, like I said, the arson investigator took my DVR and he's going to go through it and see if anybody got in to do it or if it's just, you know, electrical. This coming as there are still questions about a fire at the stand on May 4th. Surveillance video showing a man walking behind the building with something in his hand. Smoke was seen minutes later. Despite that damage, the business was able to stay open. Now, though, it's been forced to close until repairs can be made. You know, that's why you have insurance, but, you know, how long will insurance take? We don't know. I mean, we'll just, you know, go from here. As the cause of this fire remains under investigation, anyone who may have seen something early this morning is urged to call the Orlando Fire Department. Meanwhile, the owner tells us he's determined to get things back up and running as soon as possible. In Orlando, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.